What did we learn tonight, wrestling fans? Tonight was supposed to be exhilarating. Tonight was supposed to be awesome. Tonight was supposed to be a, a grandeur, an awesome, spectacular shakeup for us wrestling fans. We got a new United States champion in Jeff Hardy. We found out that Monday Night Raw is a glorious failure because we have Bobby Roode and the modern day fellow Raja Jinder Mahal on Monday Night Raw. Which pretty much guarantees that Seth Rollins is going over the SmackDown Live and having Tuesday Night Rollins. All of that, plus so much more, including, forget about The Undertaker versus Chris Jericho. Forget about that. We are not seeing that anymore. We can all cringe again. We can all be upset again, wrestling fans, because Rusev Day is now being buried once again in a casket by the Undertaker. WWE announces this. WWE announced that Lana approves of it. WWE says that it's going to take place in Saudi Arabia. Not only did they announce it on the internet, but they announced it on TV. So it has changed. And what is your problem, Chloe? Sitting there growling. What is your problem? Supposed to be a good dog. Anyway, back to the review. Monday Night Raw tonight, shake up. Kurt Angle starts the show off. Real happy that's a shake up. Got some announcements to make. And Gender Mahal opens the show, interrupting Kurt angle saying that he is the first acquisition for the brand and that he is the best acquisition for the brand according to the announced team and i'm still wondering why he is the best acquisition because his statistics does not back up that whether he is a former WWE champion or not, because he made that title a sunken ship. We can all agree with that. And we can all agree that the United States Championship is much better in the hands of Jeff Hardy. Now, some of you are probably saying this is just a way for WWE to make the Saudi Arabia fans happy and have Jinder Mahal recapture the championship at that event. I'm really hoping they don't do that. I'm really hoping Jeff Hardy retains the title at the greatest Royal Rumble of all time. Jeff Hardy much more fitted as a champion. And a great way to kick off Monday Night Raw tonight than taking the title off of Jinder Mahal. What else did we see tonight? Well, I know that I was very surprised to uh, not see Charlotte show up as far as changes in the women's division. Instead, during the Bailey and Sasha Banks contest, which I really was um, hoping they would have saved for backlash. They gave it to us on Monday Night Raw, and I understand why. Either one of them are going to SmackDown tomorrow night, or ratings. 
And the fact that the Riot Squad, all three members, mind you, came over to Monday Night Raw tonight. Now, I really don't like that they had all three of them uh, come over together. I think splitting them up and having them come uh, alone, reaching out, showing their uh, 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 true side of themselves, having their own character, would do a great thing for them. Because now we pretty much know the absolution with the exception of Paige, because she's already on SmackDown, is going to go straight over to SmackDown tomorrow night. It's a no-brainer. So, the Riot Squad makes their presence known by interrupting Bailey and Sasha Banks' matchup, which was being a, a, a very good contest for us wrestling fans. They're still proving that uh, it's the best rivalry in the WWE today on Monday Night Raw without a question. And, and uh, I'm ready to see more uh, backstage segments and that kind of stuff between Bailey and Sasha Banks and not in-ring action before we get the actual payoff between these two at a pay-per-view, not Monday Night Raw. Don't do it just to pop a rating, okay? That's just my uh, 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 feel about that. The Authors of Pain versus Rhino and Heath Slater. I got kids. Let's be honest here. Authors of Pain was much better in my eyes with Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering was a great, is a great manager always has been, always will be. And uh, he gave that extra layer to the authors of pain. And, and it just feels different without Paul Ellering there. I don't know. You all let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. But this was a squash fest for AOP. The Miz is leaving Monday Night Raw. I completely disagree with this. Completely. You know, the, the Miz leaving by himself is what I completely disagree with. Uh, anyway, The Miz going to SmackDown and having the rivalry with uh, Daniel Bryan. I can't wait to see because when Daniel Bryan was a general manager and The Miz was on SmackDown, they had a great uh, um, rivalry going on. And now they can conclude that once The Miz gets on there. Because I don't see Daniel Bryan going anywhere. Now, by The Miz to Raj staying on Raw... As for right now, because things could change tomorrow night. Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, they're jobbers now. They're nothing now. They're just two worthless talents that are going to be treated like garbage. And they had a prominent role with The Miz, and they could have uh, helped out a great deal with the Daniel Bryan uh, rivalry and whatever uh, type of rivalry The Miz was in. So that really was a bad decision on WWE's part, in, in my estimation. The Wyatt, Woken Wyatt tag team and Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt. Very intriguing. Love their uh, new entrance. Can't wait to see them become the new tag team champions. Yes. Versus the Revival. Revival loses. As we all knew they were going to. No question. I love this gimmick between Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy. I hope they do not break it up anytime soon. Mickey James versus Ember Moon. Ember Moon still continuing her push 
She came over last week to Monday Night Raw. Should be a great uh, um, addition to Raw and a future champion on Monday Night Raw soon. So I'm ready to see more of what she can do. As far as Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre are concerned, it's simple. Vince McMahon, Kevin Dunn, is looking to uh, have uh, Drew McIntyre get a rub off of Dolph Ziggler. That's it. That's all this tag team formation is. They came out and was dominant tonight. Drew McIntyre was the one that got the most uh, uh, response. However, it's a good tag team. It's a good pair for Monday Night Raw, and it adds some depth in the tag team division. I really like what they did, and it'll be a good rivalry once these two eventually split. So, I like what they did here. Should make for uh, uh, intriguing uh, 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 segments going into the future for Monday Night Raw. The Bar versus Breezango. Now, this, you know, Breezango picks up the victory. I am happy about uh, uh, seeing Breezango, you know, get a victory and, and not just get completely squashed. On their first night over on Monday Night Raw, it does make sense for them to be on Raw. Raw is the more talking segment type show. And they have their fashion files. So that makes more sense. That's what they're used for. SmackDown is more wrestling based. And that's not what they're used for most of the time. So why are they on SmackDown? Wouldn't make any sense. With that being said, even though I'm happy that they picked up the victory, the bar really is the ones that needed the uh, victory tonight going into the greatest Royal Rumble of all time because they're going after the Tag Team Championship. So, did it make sense for Brizongo to pick up the victory here? No, even if it was their first night on Monday Night Raw. If you want Brizongo to pick up the victory, you should have had them face somebody that was kind of irrelevant. And then have the bar face somebody that... Uh, uh, was not their first night. Something along those lines. So, it's a 50-50 way you could look at this situation. Whatever the case, Rizongo picks up a victory their first night on Monday Night Raw. And, finally, the Roman Empire, Roman Reigns. Coming out, and we have the same old rinse and repeat. Blah, 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 blah. Out of his mouth, the same old verbiage coming out of his mouth about Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar's not here, and Roman Reigns is here. Brock Lesnar doesn't care, and Roman Reigns cares. Brock Lesnar is going to lose his title, and I'm going to take the title and bring it back and be a full-time champion. Samoa Joe comes out and puts Roman Reigns in his place. I really like that Samoa Joe put him in his place, showed Roman Reigns exactly what Brock Lesnar has done over the past number uh, 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 of WrestleMania is the past two WrestleManias that they fought each other in and the past number of weeks. F5 after F5, chair shots, F5 on steel chairs, uh, steel steps, all that. And then said he was going to put him to sleep at Backlash, pretty much picking up the bones. It was a very good segment. 
I didn't really like the fact that uh, they made Samoa Joe run all the way down and then walk off and not have any physical confrontation because that's not really the type of character Samoa Joe is. However, it is going to be a good contest once these two get on inside the squared circle. I'm not going to like the fact that Roman Reigns will end up beating Samoa Joe at Backlash. That's coming. There's no question in my mind about that. Whether it's for the Universal Championship or not, what remains to be seen. Um, but that is coming. And as far as this Brock Lesnar uh, verbiage about how he doesn't care about anybody, look, the crowd reaction tonight clearly told you what we thought, what we think about Roman Reigns. It is not just the hardcore audience, Vince McMahon. Those fans booed him tonight. Those fans said he sucked tonight. Those fans are clearly telling you we do not want him as the Universal Champion. Move on, Vinny Mac. It is time. And when he wins that championship, if he does in Saudi Arabia, when he comes back to the United States, he will be eaten alive. No question about that. And I'm begging for somebody to dispute that in the comments below. And that is your Monday Night Raw review. Hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Follow me on Facebook at 2007Webby where I do live reactions amongst everything else I do over there. And until I see you again, this is Webby, and I will catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.